Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to make your cash very fast by using Fox Under Farm. Let's dive in. So here we are into Houdini. I've already created a very basic scene, so I will dive into my geometry folder and I will show you very quickly what I've made here. So I've created a very basic flip simulation and you can download this project file if you want uh, in the Artifiles membership. You can find the link in the description of this video. So here I've just created a very simple collider. So I've added a spheres with band normals. I've uh, extruded by normals here with a point warp subdivide. And then I have created a collision source with geometry and VDB here. And here on the next side, I have created my source with a sphere transform to put this up on the Y axis. I have created the source here. And I have plugged all this stuff into the DOP network. So into the DOP network, I have my flip object, volume source with the, with the out source in the SOPs. I have my solver here, my static object, and the gravity to add a bit of forces into the fluid. So the fluid will dive in, collide with this geometry. So you can uh, click on play to run the simulations. So this is my fluid simulations. And it's pretty easy to calculate because for now I don't have many substeps and I don't have many particles. So you can see in the flip object, I have the particle separation set at 0.02. So it's pretty basic. And also it's a viscous fluid. So you can see the simulation now. But uh, this is just for the examples. Of course, it's a very basic scene, so it's not necessary to use the farm to cache this type of simulation. But it's more for your EV simulation, uh, who can take more than 30 minutes, for example. So here I can go back into my SOP here and I have imported my fluids and here I have meshed my fluid with VDB and if I go at the frame 48 for example and if I go at the bottom of the VDB branch here you can see we have generated a mesh based on our particles. So of course for now we don't have in our particles but it's just for the examples like I said before. And here I have created two file caches. So the first one is just after the DOP import where it is uh, only points and particles for now. And after it's for the meshing. So the first file cache here uh, don't have the cache set already. So you can plug the cache into the VDB from particles here. And here in my case, I want to uh, save the cache into my own computer. So if you want to run the cache into your own computer, you just have to click on save to disk. But in my case, I will run it on the farm and I will upload it later into the file cache here. So I have to make it into explicit here instead of constructed by default. So I have to make it explicit. And in my case, I like to put it in a cache folder. So let's add cache and let's add another folder with the name of the node. So let's type $OS, which is the name of the node here. So the name will be uh, fluid sim particle for that one and fluid sim mesh for the other one. So then after this first file cache, we will convert our particles into mesh. So like this. And then we have our second file cache and you have to make it explicit also and you can put it into the, the same cache folder and you can add another uh, $OS uh, folder for the name of the second file cache. So you can plug that into the, into the next of our node here. And the idea here with the farm is to run, of course, this first file cache first. And when this one is fully done, you can run the second file cache. So it's really important to keep the same order as your file cache into the simulation. So you can't send the two same file cache at the same time into um, the simulation on the render farm. You have to, to run this one at first and this one at the second. So one important thing, if you have used external 3D uh, model for your collider, for example, with the file node, you have to import the 3D model also. Otherwise, the fluid can't be calculated correctly because it will miss one file. So you just have to open your folder here. So my file is, is saved here and you can create, for example, a new folder for your geometry. And you can also create a new folder for your textures if you want. But for now, we don't need texture as we only run the cache simulation. But the texture folder is more important for the final rendering. And here into the geo, you have to make sure, sorry, into the geo, you have to make sure you have all your 3D models here link into the dollar heap um, geometry file here. So don't forget to do that. Otherwise, it will miss some geometry and can't be running uh, correctly your simulations. So here in my case, I will delete that one as I don't have any external geometry. So I will click on file on save and I will go into Fox Render Farm. Imagine having access to over 40 hours of exclusive Houdini tutorials. And that library keeps growing every month with brand new content. 
On Arda Labs, you'll find in-depth Houdini tutorials covering motion design, simulations, product visualization, and more. Plus, you get access to all project files so you can follow along step by step. And right now, we're offering an extra 20% off the annual membership, on top of the 10% discount already included when compared to the monthly plan. This exclusive deal is available for the first 30 people, so don't miss out. Click the link below, your 20% discount is applied automatically. Secure your spot before it's gone. So here is the Fox Wonder Farm website. So you can go into foxwonderfarm.com and create an account from here. And you can go into your account here. You can click on my job and it will put it into your task manager here. So for the simulation, basically you can go into the CPU region um, categories here. And for your final render, if you are using Redshift, you can go into the GPU region one. But in my case, for now, I will uh, use the, the farm to create uh, our cache simulation. So I will go into the CPU region one with 66 uh, physical core. So here at the first step, we need to import our scene. So let's click on this icon and let's click on upload folder. So here you have to find the path of your project. So in my case, it's called cache forks on the farm. And inside I have my text folder, geo folder, which is empty in my case. And I have the file here. So I will import everything. So I will click on that folder and click on open. So now the folder is imported. So you can close the transfer list here and you can go into submit. And from here, you have to select your software. So in our case, we will use Houdini, of course. And you have to select the right path of your project. So in my case, is user, desktop, and so on. So I will click on Cache Fox Wonder Farm. And I will send this file. So click on that one and click on Continue. And from here, you have to define a config if it's not already made. So I will delete that one. So click on Confirm. And I will click on add config. You can give a name to your config here. So you can rename it Houdini CPU, for example. In my case, I will put on Windows and Houdini 19.5. And here you can set your plugin, but it's not really necessary because um, I'm using only the CPU for the cache and not for the final render. But so I can put assets, for example, and click on save here. And from here, you can also choose your RAM. So you, by default is 64 gigabyte of RAM, but you can increase if you want. Of course, it will cost just a little bit more. So in my case, I will go for 64 and click on Go Analysis. Click on OK. And you can see it goes automatically into the analysis panel here and you have the notification here to say it's analysis correctly. So now you just have to wait the process to finish. So during this time, you can still working into your file if you want, but it won't take many time. So we'll just wait until the, the process finished. So now you can see we have received the notification to say the analysis is done. So now you can just refresh the page. So now you can see the analysis is done, but with warning. So it's always the same with Houdini file. You will always get some warning here from the analysis, but it's just a reminder, I think, for the missing files. But in our case, as we have imported the entire folder, it don't miss anything. So I will click on in your and continue. And from here, you can see we have our file cache already detected by the farm. So if we are go back into the Houdini file, you, you can see the first one is the fluid sim particles. So which is that one. So you can tick that, that one and click on submit. So here, as I said before, it's really important to make that one before and then send the second one. So let's send that one first. So let's click on submit and let's just waiting into the rendering will be complete. So it will be very, very fast. So now it was sent successfully into the rendering and you can see here we have um, jumped into the last step, which is rendering. And now we just have to wait until the rendering is finished. So you can check your status here and we have uh, maybe sometime you have uh, the render progress here in percentage. So you can check and you have the consuming time here. But for CPU, it's very fast and the, the cost is very, very low, even if you have very high uh, simulation. And even if it takes a long time, it won't cost uh, many much money. So in my case, I have never paid over uh, $2 for the cash simulation. So I think it's very, very low price. So you can save lots of time with these techniques. So now the first rendering is finished and you can see it take only one minute and it cost 0.02 dollar, which is absolutely uh, nothing. So what you can do here, you can click on that one and you can click on clone. 
And here you can now select your second file cache. So you can disable the first one, select the second and click on submit. And now it was sent uh, successfully into the rendering and we just have to wait the rendering finished. So now the second render is also finished and you can see it took around two minutes and it cost me 0.03 dollars. So I think you can't download the cache from here as it is not some frame. So you have to go into the assets folder here. You have to select the correct path of your project. And now you can see it create automatically a cache folder and inside the cache folder it creates a two new folder with the name of the node we have set into Houdini here. So we have set the two names with the dollar $OS variables here and it created automatically into the farm. So now you can select everything and you can click on download and now you have to download your cache. So in that case it will be very fast because the cache is not really heavy but it can take a bit more time if the cache is heavy and if the, your connection is terrible like mine. So now the downloading process is done so you just have to go into your download folder and you can copy the two uh, files so you can control C go back into your uh, folder pass and from here you can create a cache folder into your own computer so let's create a cache and let's paste them into here. And now you can go back into Houdini and for the first uh, file cache here, you can simply select um, the good path from here. So you can go into heap cache and it's called fluid, uh, fluid sim particles for the first one. And you can select the entire seconds here. So if it show it like this, you have to click on show seconds as once and you can click on that, click on accept and you can click on load from disk. And you can do absolutely the same for the second one. So you can go here and I think it will automatically uh, get the, the good one. So you can click on accept and click on load from disk. And now you can see you have your simulation running correctly from the file cache here and the mesh one is also running correctly. So now you can scroll into the timeline with the correct file cache. So yeah, it can be very, very powerful. So you can use Fox on the farm to speed up your caching workflow. So during the caching process, you can still working on your project on other projects. So the, the computer will be fully available. So maybe it can take some time to, to download the cache uh, if it's really, really heavy, but it's depend on your uh, internet connections. But yeah, you can of course speed up your workflow for only a few bucks. So if you are interested by using Fox on the farm, you can uh, click on the link on the description, create an account and you can follow the tutorial and you can use CPU for your um, cache simulation and you can use GPU if you want to render your frame with Redshift. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys so you can download the file if you want to get access to this very, very basic fluid simulations and see you in the next one. Thank you for support and bye. That's it for today guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check artivoxar.com to get premium 3D resources. You can access to this project file with our Artifiles membership. See you in the next one, bye.